Hey guys, how's it going? Alice here with Big Money Theory. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today, I would like to talk to you about what might happen this coming weeks. If we are went through the correction already, or are we still going for it? We had a rough couple of weeks. The correction started around February 16th, and the whole market was going pretty sharply downwards. A lot of big companies in the market lost anywhere from 10 to 15, 20%. Tesla, for example, at one point of time lost more than 30%. A lot of high growth stocks lost anywhere from 40 to 60%. Some penny stocks lost as much as 70%. So we are already pretty much at the bottom of the market. This correction in some cases erased all the gain we got in 2021. And for some companies, even the gain they got since November or October of last year. Now let's talk about things that I think might be happening next. We have a few catalysts that are coming up and a couple of them already happened. So the first one, the job market in the United States has increased. We just had a report yesterday, and in that report, it was mentioned that the United States got more jobs back than they were expecting. That was a big catalyst, and I think that's going to push the market upwards. Another catalyst, which is kind of a soft catalyst, is the weekend. It might sound funny to you, but a lot of times, weekends are actually times that make the market feel better. So the way it kind of works is a lot of institutional investors, they were dumping the stocks for a couple of weeks now, and last week was pretty rough. We, had, we saw a lot of red days and the market was just pretty much free falling downwards. A lot of those institutional investors come down throughout the weekend and they look around and they see, okay, hmm, interesting. A lot of stocks that we sold, we got money on them. Now the stocks crash down uh, anywhere from you know, 10, 15, 20%. Some of the stocks lost anywhere from 40 to 60%. So now the stocks are looking really, really interesting again. So a lot of those institutional investors, they have time during the weekend to think about what's going on in the market and maybe kind of look back and see that a lot of those stocks are very, very low now and they are still great companies. Some of the companies still giving great revenues. Let's say I talked in my previous video about EXPI. They have outstanding quarter over quarter results and yearly results still dropping down. We also had Etsy, as for example, that had the outstanding financial results and the stock went up like crazy, but then two days later it crashed even lower, it was before the results. So normally those results would push the stock up and up and up, but the only thing we saw in this market is that stock crashing down even lower. So this is abnormal. And we saw a lot of great numbers from a lot of companies. Tesla got great numbers, Apple got great numbers, Facebook. All those companies showed some great returns but still those stocks crashed a lot. So in the normal market, the stocks would be pushing up and up and up. Now they're on the bottom. A lot of institutional investors might decide to change their mind and go back into investing those stocks. If that is to happen, the stock's gonna shoot up very fast. So if you were among those investors who are buying a dip, consider yourself lucky. Now, another big catalyst coming up is the stimulus check. The waiting for final approval, they're going through the bill one more time. And as soon as it's all done, the economy will know that those money is coming into the economy. And that's going to push economy higher quite a bit. Another important thing is those 10-year treasury bonds. At one point of time on Friday when the market was open, the treasury bonds went up as high as 1.66%, which is a lot. And that spooked a lot of investors. And as we know, on Friday, we had quite a sell-off in the beginning of the trading day. But then it trickled down, actually, and they went... And it actually closed a little lower than it was closing on Thursday. So that's also something that a lot of investors were hoping to see. There are a few other catalysts that come up shortly. And I really hope that they're going to push the market upwards. In my opinion, we're close to the bottom of the correction. We might see a very volatile next couple of weeks. But I don't think it's going to drop much, much lower. If you think about it, we are not at war with anybody. You know, we don't have any huge trading wars going on. The job market is improving. The stock market was going up rapidly. It was probably time to let some of that steam out. But altogether, there are no major bad news. So we are just spontaneously got into the correction. Plus a couple other things happened at the same time. So that's, so that's what kind of pushed the market down lower than a lot of people were expecting. But altogether, we are getting to the times when there are going to be more and more jobs coming back to the market. The economy is going to be opening up more and more. We're going to have a lot of people traveling and spending more money. So I personally think that we are, again, close to the bottom of the correction, but we might still see a couple of weeks of high volatility. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you like what I heard, leave a like, drop a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.